The book, The Art of Scalability, describes a really useful three-dimension scalability model, the scale cube, and has since been widely adopted as a reference model for scaling applications in software engineering and implemented by many technology companies. In this video, I'll clarify the basics of scale cube, how it relates to microservices, and why it is useful to know for your system design interviews. So, let's begin. Scale cube provides a way to think about scaling an application in three dimensions, x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. X-axis scaling is the most common way to scale a monolithic application. It involves running multiple identical instances of the application behind a load balancer. The load balancer distributes incoming requests among these instances, allowing for increased capacity and availability. X-axis scaling is basically a horizontal scaling approach, which means that it adds more computing resources to the application to handle increased load. Z-axis scaling routes requests based on an attribute of the request. Unlike X-axis scaling, each instance is responsible for only a subset of the data. It involves splitting the application into smaller parts that are responsible for handling specific subsets of the data. Each of these parts is then scaled independently allowing for better performance and increased capacity. The router in front of the instances route requests based on request attributes, such as the user ID. Now, this approach is useful when certain parts of the applications have different performance requirements and require different level of resources. Y-axis scaling is also known as functional decomposition and involves breaking the application into smaller independent services. Each service is responsible for a particular function such as order management, customer management, and so on. The services are then scaled independently using x-axis scaling and possibly z-axis scaling. This approach makes it easier to manage and maintain the application as each service can be developed and deployed independently. It also allows for better fault isolation as a failure in one service won't affect the other services. Microservices are the high-level definition of y-axis scaling. They are an architectural style that involves breaking the application into a set of small independent services that communicate with each other using well-defined interfaces. Microservices have become increasingly popular in recent years as they allow for faster development and easier maintenance and better scalability. Now, system design interviews often involves designing a system that can handle a large amount of traffic and users. And the scale queue provides a useful way to approach this problem. By understanding the three dimensions of the scale cube, you can demonstrate their knowledge of different scaling approaches and how they can be applied to different types of applications.